you mr speaker during the past week we have heard about a series of major violations of our civil liberties including the fact that n s a is collecting the phone records of tens of millions of americans this wholesale snooping on innocent americans is an unacceptable violation of one of our most basic freedoms the right to privacy and to be free from government surveillance and one of many unintended but predictable consequences of the usa patriot act I proudly voted against reauthorization of the Patriot Act three times because of its potential for abuse, and more people are starting to see that abuse. Even former Vice President Al Gore, not somebody I usually or normally agree with, had the, uh, even he had the right response to the NSA report. He tweeted, in a digital era, privacy must be a priority. Is it just me, or is, it, or is secret blanket surveillance obscenely outrageous? And I tweeted back, crazy, but I agree. Of course, what's happening with the NSA is just the latest example of the government abusing its power. We've all, we've all heard about the IRS scandals in which one of the most powerful agencies in the government deliberately targeted conservative organizations for audits and other forms of harassment. We've all heard about what happened with Fox News reporter James Rosen, whose phone was tapped by the Justice Department, even though Attorney General Eric Holder testified before the House Judiciary Committee that, quote, that potential prosecution of the press for the disclosure of material that is not something that I have ever been involved with, heard of, or would think would be wise policy, close quote. Needless to say, what Mr. Holder said under oath is sharply at odds with what happened to Mr. Rosen, and I've joined with my Judiciary Committee colleagues in sending a letter to Mr. Holder requesting that he appear before the committee again to explain these discrepancies. Then just last Friday, it was reported that the NSA and the FBI are tapping directly into the central servers of nine leading U.S. Internet companies, including Google, Facebook, and YouTube. Who knows what we'll find out next? When thinking about all these scandals, I'm reminded of what James Madison wrote in Federalist 51 in the early days of our country. If men were angels, no government would be necessary. If angels were to govern men, neither external nor internal controls on government would be necessary. In framing a government which is to be administered by men over men, the great difficulty lies in this. You must first enable the government co to control the governed, and in the next place, oblige it to control itself." Close quote. In recent years, many members of both parties have forgotten Mr. Madison's lesson, a lesson that infuses our founding document, the U.S. Constitution, that government powers must be limited because governments, by their very nature, have a hard time controlling themselves. During the Bush years, many Republicans ignored that truth, and the, in the Obama era, many Democrats have ignored it too. What's happening with the NSA, the IRS, the DOJ, and other agencies should correct the misguided idea that it's okay to give the government more power so long as the right party is in power. Because parties change, and to quote Madison again, enlightened statement will not always be at the helm. For all of these reasons and more, I voted against the USA Patriot Act, which, despite its nice name, was written in such a sweeping way that it opened the door for the NSA to invade the privacy of millions of Americans. That is because the USA Patriot Act, Section 215, allows the FBI to seek the production of tangible things to obtain foreign intelligence and to protect against clandestine intelligence activities. But since, but since it does not require that either the caller or the recipient of the call be a foreign agent or located abroad, you can see how the FBI could be tempted to collect broad swaths of data concerning Americans' phone calls to detect patterns of activity, as many analysts suggest may have happened in this case. That is why last Thursday, I joined several of my House colleagues in sending a letter to FBI Dr. Mueller and NSA Director Alexander requesting more information concerning their data collection activities. Given public outrage about the NSA's abuse of power, it is time for Congress to re-examine all sections of the USA Patriot Act, and I am hopeful my colleagues will join me in starting that re-examination. Now is the time to work together to reduce the scope of government power before it becomes so large and so impenetrable that regaining our freedoms becomes almost impossible. Now is our moment, and we must seize it. I yield back my time.